We've known for 126 years that the human brain doesn't retain a lot in terms of memory. Herbert Hemminghaus did research back in 1885, what is now known as the Ebbinghaus Forgetting Curve, that shows that any one of us will forget about half of what we've been told within an hour of being told it, unless we have the opportunity to put that into practice within that hour. And so therefore taking people out of the workplace, putting them through a formal structured class, we might even test them and assume that they know what to do because they've passed the test, but put them back into the, into the workplace and we find that actually the performance doesn't change. The reason that 702010 has been taken up by so many organisations is that it overcomes two major problems with traditional training approaches. The first problem is cost. The second problem is timeliness. And organisations now expect the development of their people to run at the speed of business. And 702010 helps organisations do just that. A lot of research has been shown that learning is all about context and if you keep people in the workflow and provide them with facilities and support for learning, the learning is much more effective, it's faster, it's cost effective and efficient and effective. 702010 requires people to think about the tools, practices and techniques that you're going to adopt outside of simply distributing information and running formal structured courses. So it requires managers to be involved in development uh, because a lot of the 70 and 20, the experiential part of learning, has to be supported by managers in the workplace through new experiences, through the opportunity to practice, through uh, exposure to new roles, new jobs, job swaps and so on and so forth. It also opens up whole new channels for learning. So, for example, the use of mobile technology, which is expanding rapidly. One of the questions I'm often asked is, if you're looking at a model like 702010, you're obviously going to focus a lot more on what is called informal learning. And the question I'm often asked is, how do we manage that? And the answer to that is, that that's the wrong question. You don't manage it. You can facilitate it, you can support it, you can help it happen, but actually you can't manage it. Basically, you know, each of us individually manage our learning and all we can do in terms of the 702010 structure or any model that includes some sort of informal learning or self-directed learning is provide people with the right resources at the right time through the right channel and allow them to get on with it. And, and you'll never get a learning organisation if you're continually pushing content at people and expecting them to learn. Learning organisations only emerge once people, individuals, start to pull learning when they need it, where they need it, where it's going to be most effective for them and when they've got problems to solve.